In this video, we'll discover about a step-by-step -step guide to your first gratitude practice. Are you ready to begin your first gratitude practice? If you're convinced that practicing gratitude will make a transformative difference to your life, you could benefit from this step-by-step -step guide to take you through the process. There are five helpful steps for you to follow. Commitment. Yet no matter how much you might want to experience all the benefits that being more grateful can bring, there will sometimes be days when you just can't be bothered to think about things to feel thankful for. If you're busy or just feeling too depressed, it can just seem too difficult to fit in your practice session for the day. No matter how discouraged you feel, it's important to stick with your commitment. If you give in to the temptation to let it slide for one day, you may never go back to it. Rest assured though, even if you have to force yourself to sit down and write in your gratitude journal, you'll reap the benefits once you get started. Commencement. Once you've committed yourself to gratitude practice, you have to actually get down to doing it. Sit down with your notepad or at your laptop and begin with, I am thankful for. Nothing may come to you straight away, but that's okay. Stop and wait for a minute to reflect. Enjoy the moment of peace and soon you'll find yourself thinking of the first thing to add to your list. Writing. Although you don't always have to write a gratitude journal, it's often the best way to start. When you put the things you're thankful for in writing, you have the power to read them back over, again and again. That allows you to experience that feeling of thanks repeatedly and reinforces the emotions behind it in your mind. Repetition is the key to success. The written word has power. After all, the pen is mightier than the sword. Writing your thoughts down or writing a gratitude letter has more energy than simply phrasing your thanks and saying it out loud. Putting pen to paper physically turns the thought process in a more positive direction, helping you to accept things and learn from them. Feeling. There will no doubt be days when you start writing in your gratitude journal and you feel like you're on autopilot. You write without feeling in gratitude at all. Although that's not the aim of the exercise, begin by writing it all down anyway. That's a good place to begin. The feeling will come later. Read again what you've written and keep reading it until you finally start to feel the sensation of thanks in your heart. Once it's there, allow it to flow through your whole body. Whatever is happening around you, surrender to that feeling and embrace it to the full. Sharing. The final step in your first gratitude practice is to share your grateful thoughts with another person. The best results can be achieved by partnering up with someone else who wants to instill more thanks in your life. You can both act as each other's motivation. And when you know you have to report back to your partner about your progress, it will give you a push to carry on and stick to your commitment to practice gratitude, even on days when it feels too difficult. Sharing positive thoughts about someone with that person is a great way to double the benefits of your practice. Both of you will be able to experience the advantages of boosted self-esteem and a greater sense of well-being overall. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.